Okay, now let's talk about inverse Laplace transform. Okay, we talked about Laplace transform in problem number eight, and now it is time to talk about inverse Laplace transform. That is obvious process, right? But like, I believe this is more important. Okay, look at H of S. Okay, well, if you do not have like a convolution integral, definitely you have to do the partial fraction. But like most of you are not happy with partial fraction, right? Because like you learned about that one in calculus two, but you forget everything, right? So now we can use the convolution integral for this part, okay? So let's, let me show you, okay? So let me just split this one as a product form, not the partial fraction form, but product form, okay? Then let's say uh, 1 over s to the 4 is f of s, and 1 over s squared plus 1 is s g of s, right? Because this is possible, because like these are already perfect form to apply the, like in you know, a Laplace transform table. Okay, that's why we can do like this, okay? Then, okay, here we go. Then your H of T, which is inverse Laplace transform of H of S is equal to what? Convolution integral, right? Integral, zero to T, um, F of T minus tau times G of tau, D tau, where, but you have to figure out F of T and G of T, right? Here we go. Um, f of t is inverse Laplace transform of um, f of t, which is equal to inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s to the 4, okay? But you have to be careful. This one is in the table, which is number 3. But when you compare with number 3, your m must be 3. But if n is three, you must have n, a three factorial on your numerator, which means you need um, three factorial, which is six, right? Like that, right? Whenever you multiply something on your numerator, you have to divide by the same thing on your denominator, okay? Multiply something on your denominator, right? So that is equal to, um, let me use the red one because like, we made a red circle for f of s, right? That is equal to one over six, and e to the three. Does it make sense? And we need to figure out another one. Gt is equal to inverse Laplace transform of, oh, give me one second. Sorry about this writing. That is, that was f of s, and this is g of s, right? Equal to inverse Laplace transform of one over s squared plus one. Right? So like, you know, look at that, look at table. It is definitely number five, okay? Let me give you the number, okay? This is number three, and this is number five, okay? Which is sine function, okay? To use this guy, like this one must be one square and this must be matched with this guy, okay? Then your A is one, then like your inverse Laplace transform, this one is sine T, right? Let me use the blue one sine t. Does it make sense? Okay, so now your h of t, which is inverse Laplace transform of h of s can be written by convolution integral 4, which is 0 to 2 t, f of t minus tau, 1, 6 t minus tau cubed and g tau sine tau, d tau, okay? Or like if you want me to simplify a little bit, just take one over six out, that much, okay? T minus tau cubed sine tau, d tau, that's it, okay? Let me give you another example, okay? This one, again, if you do not know about convolution integral, definitely you have to do the partial fraction, but for now, I'm not gonna do it, okay? Here we go. Let me rewrite this one as a product form. One over s plus one squared times one over s squared plus four. Okay. Let's say one over s squared plus one uh, plus one square is f of s. Then one over s squared plus four is g of s. Okay. Then your uh, conversion integral, which is inverse Laplace transform of h of s. Okay. 
that's exactly h of t, right? Is equal to integral zero to t um, f of t minus tau g tau d tau. Is that clear? But like you have to figure out f and g, right? Where f of t is inverse Laplace transform of f of s. Let me finish this one first, okay? Inverse Laplace transform of one over s plus one square. Okay, look at table. So which one is going to match with this one? Oh, there we go. It is number 11. Okay, so like to use number 11, um, your a is one, okay. Then since like, you know, your power of your denominator is two, your n is one, then that's perfect. And that can be written by um, t to the one times e to the one t. That's it, okay, t times et, okay? So like, you know, I'm not gonna write like, you know, one here. t times e to the, oh, I'm sorry. Like your a must be minus one, okay? It must be minus t. I'm talking about, let me, it might be better to write your number, um, number 11 here, okay? Number 11 is, uh, Laplace transform of um, t to the n a uh, e to the a t is equal to uh, n factorial over uh, s minus a n plus one. That's why like my a must be negative one, right? So this is negative one. Okay. So let me talk about g t. Okay, g t is equal to inverse Laplace transform of G of S, which is inverse Laplace transform of one over S square. You understand what I'm saying, right? It must be two square, okay? When you look at the table, um, it's exactly um, number five, okay? So to use number five, and this two must be matched with like this guy, right? So that's why we have to multiply two. When we multiply two so, something, then you have to multiply one F as well, okay? So that is equal to uh, one half number five is sine two t. Is that clear so far? Okay, now we're gonna plug it back into the my conversion integral. So I can say um, h of t, which is inverse Laplace transform of h of s is equal to integral zero to t, and then plug in um, t minus tau into my function f of t, then t minus tau e to the minus t minus tau times g tau, then one half sine two tau d tau, okay? So like that's it, this is enough, okay? But if you want me to take out like, you know, my like constant, I mean coefficient out, it is um, one half times integral zero to t, T minus tau e to the minus t minus tau times sine to tau d tau. Okay, and that's it. But some of you want to uh, ask me about like you know, if I do not want to use the this guy but the other guy. Yes, it is possible. Okay, so let me write that one too here for the practice. Okay, or we can say it is equal to one half integral. Uh, give me one second. Let me make a little bit more. They might be much better. There we go. And I can say. There's another notation, which is uh, one half zero to t and tau e to the minus tau times sine two times t minus tau d tau instead. Okay, and both of them is fine. Okay.